Hi, um, my name is Anton Janowski and um, I've just received my uh, Mini 60 um, antenna analyzer and I thought I'll give it a quick spin to see how it works. I had a quick uh, read through the, the manual and uh, it seems to be straightforward. So um, it's supposed to have uh, both in battery um, so it can automatically scan uh, up to 60 megahertz from 1 to 60 megahertz and uh, it's got the in Bluetooth which is uh, apparently quite a nice feature um, I had a, a quick trial run just before this uh, with my uh, Android uh, phone to see if I can get uh, to uh, communicate with uh, the Mini uh, 60 uh, via Bluetooth um, uh, let's let's t uh, take a trial and see what happens. Um, the battery was uh, is flat. I've switched it on and uh, I'm just running it off the power while it's charging. It's got a little charger light here in front. Uh, it says R for charging, which is probably red, and G for full, which is um, uh, green. But um, I think my power supply having is a little bit low. I see the voltage they recommend is 12 to 14. I think mine is just under 12, so it's probably not charging uh, batteries as it should. So uh, I'm just going to switch it on. It's got a little, um, it's got a little power switch here at the top. So I'm going to switch it on, and then I'm going to try and put it into Bluetooth mode. So let's switch it on and see what happens. So basically. Uh, as you can see it comes up with this little menu SWR and you've got uh, these set of uh, buttons here and, and basically to, to put it into Bluetooth mode the first time you have to press the set button and it says PC link and then you press have to press the download button and it says waiting for link so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take my Android phone and just switch it on And uh, I've installed this Mini 60 um, application from the internet, and I'll have all the links and stuff below, so you can uh, find it. And um, so basically, I'm just going to start this little application. But before I do that, I actually need to get the Bluetooth to connect. So what I'll do is I'll go to Bluetooth, it's on at the moment. Uh, I have connected earlier and you'll see there's a, a one that picks up as Mini Ant, uh, Mini uh, 60 Ant, as you can see on the screen there. So, um, so once you've paired that, there's no password. I think that one of the manuals on the internet do say there's a password of four zeros or one, two, three, four, can't remember, it's straightforward. I never had to enter anything. So that's already paired, so I'm just going to go back and I'm going to start the little application, um, the Mini 60 application. So as you can see, uh, there it is, and it's got a connect button, and I'll say connect, and then it lists the Mini, I don't know why it lists two, I've tried both, both seems to work. And I'm just going to select uh, the first one, and then it says connected to Mini 60D. Um, the, the default frequency is 14.27 and 100. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually connect a little uh, mobile antenna of mine onto uh, the Mini 60. Uh, it's a seven. It's cut for seven megahertz. So we're on 14. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's now still there. I'm going to say start. So if I can get my fingers out of the way, you can probably see it's scanning there. And it's got a little uh, blue and green line and uh, we've got some kind of uh, scope and it will repeat this. And it says there's a dip here around about 7 megahertz, which is spot on. Um, why it still says on the screen 14 megahertz i'm just trying to work out so that's definitely seven megahertz 
and you can move this thing, uh, this cursor up and down. So you can see 11, 13, 14, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's a lot of dip around about 22 megahertz. I don't know why, but definitely it does scan this specific um, antenna around about 7 megahertz, which is perfect. Um, what I'll do, I can actually... Uh, the, uh, my mobile antenna has got a little setting that you can, uh, a little jumpers that you can change it to a different uh, frequency. Let's see if I change that if, if the display changes. So now I've, uh, I've changed, and there's a you can see on the screen there's a new uh, dip there, around about I'll take the cursor there, the cursor 13.27 which is supposed to be a 14 megahertz um, uh, antenna now. It's got uh, different coil settings that I can switch on the antenna. So it seems to be working reasonably well. Uh, I can stop scan. I can set the bandwidth that needs to. So the bandwidth is one meg uh, step. So let me just get the screen to come back. It's gone into save mode. So that's, that's about it from a, from a Bluetooth point of view. So what I'm going to do next is show you how to use it without Bluetooth, but purely on a device itself. It works like a normal, uh, uh, normal analyzer, and you can control it through the, the front panel. So I'm going to stop this. It's just going to finish the scan. And once it's done with the scan, I'm going to quit out of the Bluetooth and quit here. And that's done. So that's the part that I've done with um, with the Bluetooth. So now what I'm going to do, um, I, I don't think I can change anything. Once it's in Bluetooth mode, that's it. Doesn't seem to be able to get out of the Bluetooth mode, but I haven't read the manual that that well. Maybe there's a exit button or something that I need to press. Oh, there, you, there you go. Um, so now I'm back. On an analyzer part. So what I can do on an analyzer part, I can say it's on 14 megahertz. So I'm going to change the band to to. I'm going to switch the antenna to 7 megahertz. It looks like this is way out of the amateur band, so I don't want to play around there. <clears throat> so I'm going to switch the antenna back to the 7 megahertz. I'm going to switch the band selection to uh, 20. I want it on 40 meters, so it, it, it jumps through all the the bands. So I'm going to take it to 40 meters. 10 meters, 8 meters, 7 meters, 6 meters, I think there's 160 meters, 80 meters, and 40 meters. So now if you leave it, it will jump back to the frequency, and I'm going to do a scan now. So in theory, uh, I should be able to get uh, the it beeped, it, it beeped again, so it looks like it found both sides of the actual uh, bandwidth uh, 3D dB point and there it says on the top a bandwidth 160 kilohertz so that's your 3 dB points that it's found and now I can it says here press any button so if I press any button for instance it says yeah my impedance is 38 uh, ohms at uh, one at one to one sorry no it's not 38 52 ohms 48 47 yeah it's close to 50 so now I can even step up down a little bit if I want to go take it down a frequency. Now it goes to 42, 39. So I'm going the other direction, going up 51, 50. There it's uh, so it looks like the resonant point of this antenna is about 6.88. Uh, 